Hey guys, it's Dilly Grissy here today and I have a special guest for you. It's James Turner YouTube, aka The Sim Supply. Guten Tag. Guten, guten Morgen. I mean, it's like, really not the morning right it's now. It's like 5.30 p.m. Guten so Tag. It's like, not you exactly right. the morning. You're right. Guten Tag. But, um, Good day. Thanks uh, but for yeah. having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, thank you for asking me to collab with you because obviously right now we are not building. We are furnishing a house that James has built. So in the description down below or on the screen, I'll link you guys to the original build so you can go watch that and then come back and watch the furnishing if you want. Uh, unless you don't want to watch James's building, which would be a bit silly because I it really would, like this build. It would be heartbreaking is what it would be. Like it would actually make me a little bit sad. Yeah. Honestly, like... I'm not even going to lie. If this furnishing video gets more views than the build, I would be really sad. I, d I don't think you need to worry about that, but <laughs> I will keep that in mind and send my condolences your way if that does happen. Thank you. So I respect fine. that. I respect <laughs> and appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. But anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys that this is like a sunken house build. So we're actually, when you, when we zoom out, you'll see that this house is kind of built downwards into the ground, which is really cool. And this side of the house is like an open outdoor living area. So I thought it'd be nice to do kind of a nice little so, wall artwork. So alfresco. Very alfresco indeed. I don't know if you guys will find that weird or think it's kind of pretty. What do you reckon, James? That's cool. I've never That's done cool. that before. It's a yeah. bit of art. A bit of artwork, it's interesting. Bit, of, very, bit very of the old graphic design coming in th through there, perhaps, maybe not really, but you know, moving on. So we also are going to put like a bit of a red, white, and brown color scheme in here. I was kind of inspired by the couches to do that because obviously it's there's the all the colors white. are in there. Yeah, yeah, it's all in exactly. there. Tie it in, tie it all together in one. Tie it all together. That is the first rule of interior design, James. Really. I, 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 I was going to say, I literally know no rules of interior design. I have no, like, knowledge of any actual, uh, you know, theories or practices. I kind of just play stuff and I'm like, yeah, that looks good. I'll go with it. Well, That's all I know. Did you know that the colors red and yellow, if you paint your walls those colors, they make you hungry? That's why McDonald's ba -da -ba 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 -ba. is red and yellow. Uh-huh. Exactly. No, Actually, no, I think I've, I've definitely heard you say that before now mm -hmm. that you've said it again. So, it's but one I don't, of my I fun remember facts. That. Everyone what has a list of fun facts that they pull out for interesting conversation. Do you want to hear my other one? My other okay. go-to fact? Did you know that snails can sleep for up to three years? That's incredible. I, I know. know. So when you step on a snail, you might have been sleeping for like two years. One of my um, little fun facts is that the, the skin on your lips is the same as the skin on your, your back door. Really? So that's that's why when you have spicy food, because it makes your lips tingle, it also makes no your back door tingle when you go. Way. That's why it does it, and that's a fun fact. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh well, my I, god. I don't think I've ever fact checked that, but I'm pretty sure that's right. <laughs> that's kind of gross. It's like you have a mouth on your butt, but it does the opposite to your mouth. Okay, this is getting too much now. I yeah, don't let's know. That's why I was off. trying to just. This is really you know, That's why I was trying to just be like. <laughs> not use specific terms and just be like mm -hmm. back door, you know, mm -hmm. that, that's keep a distance, but that's a fun fact. Okay. Okay. Well here I'm making something a little bit cool and snazzy or maybe a fail. I think it's kind of cool and snazzy. I mean, if I saw someone else do this, I'd be like, Oh yeah, I see what they're doing there. But mm. this is your little present James in your build. It's a little indoor golf simulation thing so there's going to be a tv <laughs> at the other end Indoor and the golf, golf ball <laughs> is is a little egg on top of whatever that thing is ah. so the ball's a little bit oddly shaped but that's okay <laughs> <laughs> it's an egg ball that's a that's a didn't they used to have that's a pretty cool idea didn't they used to have did they ever have like mini golf in sims i feel like they did i i'm pretty sure they did i can't remember which title but yeah i don't know it could have been sims I feel like it was, yeah, I don't know, maybe. Oh, I think it was Sims 2. I think it was a career reward or something. That sounds familiar. Like yeah. you got it from one of the jobs. There's this cool little golf simulation. So you'd whack the ball at the TV or something. I don't know how golf simulation <laughs> works, but. Well, it's not a ball, it's a marshmallow. So it'll be fine if it no, is the TV. It's an egg, James. 
Oh, sorry. I wasn't really listening. <laughs> but um, it was kind of like, you can see me going through here, the hidden objects. Or a bit earlier on, I was going through them trying yeah, to find yeah. the most suited objects. The marshmallow, when I placed it, no good. Because it would always turn into a burnt marshmallow. Nobody Ooh. wants a burnt golf ball. So we didn't use that one, obviously. Yeah. Just wouldn't fly right. Mm-hmm. Mm. No, that's right. a cool idea. I've never... Did, how did you... Why did you come up with that? Were you, was it just because there was grass there and you're like, oh, could do I golf? I don't know. I have no idea. It you just, just like, came to it my just brain. Came to, it came to me in a dream and I forgot it in another dream. It was just like a light bulb moment. It was good. That's cool. It'd be yeah. interesting to see if you use it again now in every other build. Every single build will now <laughs> yeah, have mini golf. Whip out the, the mini golf. <laughs> yeah. You could build a whole mini golf course now. Oh my God. Actually, I'm pretty sure someone's done that. Oh. Uh, you know what? I'm pretty sure someone's someone done everything in The once. Sims before, so. It's probably I know one. something no one's ever done. What? I'm not going to tell you because you'll copy me. No. And everyone get... listening will copy. Hang on, let me just get a pen. <laughs> what were you going to say? Oh, that was a really satisfying clickety click of that pen. Thank you. <laughs> wait, wait, I got one. Listen to it. Listen to how good it sounds. Did you get that? Ooh, yeah, I did. I heard that. Sounds great. It sounds wonderful. But now, back to that idea that no one's ever done. Yeah, so you all want to know now, don't you? Yep. Well, I mean, you teased it. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, I know something. No one, I guarantee you someone's done it, though. No. <laughs> Are you sure? Mm-hmm. sure it's not my build that's coming out tomorrow? <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway, so now we've moved down to the lowest level and or the bottom level and this is like the main living area i've just i'm going to have like a kitchen a main bathroom which is in the middle of the room which i don't know what you guys will think of that but i want to be a little bit creative then we have a master bedroom with ensuite and a little toddler slash baby room so yeah, i squeezed nice. two bedrooms in that's good it's good yeah. stuff i don't think yeah. i've ever built like a toddler room in a house I say ever, but it's only been a couple of months since the thing came out. But still, I haven't I built a toddler room. They're the cutest thing to build because everything's miniature. I think it's just the little beds that get to me. I'm just like, oh. Yeah, I guess. I just wish we had bunk beds. I wish we had Murphy beds too. Murphy and I wish beds? We had, yeah, you know the ones that like fold up into the wall? Like oh. Uh, Usually, those have come out when a university expansion has come out. Yeah. Speaking of which, I want mini fridges too. So you can put oh my canvas. God. Yes, please. Yes, Would please. That. that would be nice. Slay with the mini fridges. Um, I love that. I love that rug, actually. I use it all the time. I know. Sized up. Yeah, mm. yeah. It sizes up really well. I actually just used that in a build I was doing before as well. The spoilers. Spoilers. Uh, the other rug I. That it's fairy. I'm just not a big fan. Oh, of Oh yeah, I know that one like that came grass. in the other pack, and it's like look, it kind of just looks like a bit. It, oh, I don't know. It just doesn't look good. I know. I know the one you're talking about. It's just yeah, like I never seems kind that of one. <laughs> seems kind of blobby and I don't know. I think the texture's a, f a bit funny looking. I it's don't know bit, what it looks like. It just doesn't look like a fairy rug. It looks yeah. I don't know. It's not that one's good though. I like that one. Yeah. That's a winner winner chicken Let dinner right there. Glass on all these doors. So you can see into mm -hmm. the bedroom and that. Yeah, I'm all about that. All about people peering in. Being Hello. a free spirit. No. Uh, I don't know. In Sims, I don't really mind. Yeah, it. But, yeah, it's always a thing. It's like, yeah, that's Sims. Sims don't, as long as there's like a door, Sims don't care. Yeah, they're fine. Actually, <laughs> they, actually because I mean, don't mind at all. Because I've been playing Sims 1, I've been, and my Sims had like no money, I placed down like those beaded doors because like, they're so cheap. So I, want, I want beaded doorways back. Oh my God, I remember those. <laughs> yeah. they're, like the cheapest doors. It's just, like beads oh hanging God. down. Oh my God, memories. Oh, that's oh. pretty funny. Those were the days. I want to play Sims 1 again. I don't, even, I don't have Sims 1 though. Well, that's embarrassing. Can you buy it on Steam? No. I got mine. Yeah. I bought the complete collection of eBay. But I still have all my original discs, like, from when we actually originally bought it. But the reason I bought the complete collection is because there's only four discs instead of me installing from uh, eight. So it's just quicker to install. Okay. And also, it wasn't that expensive. So I was yeah. like, oh, okay, worth it. Um, nice. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure you can find it floating around. 
but there's no digital version of it, which is really annoying. Hmm. Also, it's they really annoying. that. Yeah, they should do. Also, it's really they annoying to install on Windows pain. 10 because you can't really do it without a little bit of a hack to get it to work. Oh, sneaky. Is well, it a really. hard hack? Could I no. do it? Yeah, it's pretty easy to do, but it's just annoying. <laughs> no. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, I mean, yeah, it's easy to do. Like, you could, like, you could do it. It's easy. But it's like, because with Windows... Oh, just off topic completely. But with Windows 10, they, cha- like, they changed um, the way... Oh, they just, they stopped supporting the security on discs that a lot of old games use. So a lot of old games you just can't install on Windows 10 anymore because they've removed mm. that support because it's like a security risk. But uh, yeah. so it's just really annoying. But you can still okay. get it to work. You just have to do a little workaround. And it was the same because I've been playing another old game, the movies from 2005. They had the same issue. But you can get them to work. It's just much more annoying. Yeah. But anyway... Just for those of you guys who don't know James very well, he is very good with computers and technology to well, the point where I'm okay. I believe you said that I needed to stop asking so many technical questions from you and learn myself. Okay. Now, now, I, you, make me, now you make me sound like I'm just being rude. Just like, no, 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 me. no. Look, it was fair <laughs> enough. I'll give some context. I think I every issue I ran into, I would Skype call you and be like, James. <laughs> and yeah, you know, it's fair enough. It's fine. Well, I think there's just more. And now I'm an empowered woman. <laughs> it was more to just a lot of those questions could be very easily answered by a quick Google search. I think that's more it was a little bit like, hey, you could uh, you could just search this. Instead of Why asking. didn't you say that? Huh? You didn't. You never said that, did you? Yeah, I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. Huh. Anyways. Okay. I How like cute is that little so police I seem like we're having car. issues now. On <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're, we're, we're like, really? I'm super salty about this. Uh, no, why no. did you never say that? Oh, my God. My point like, is, no I was way. giving you a compliment. No, thank you. Well, I, I yeah. kind of got derailed there a little bit. It, it, it did derail a tiny <laughs> bit. That's okay. It's always good to, 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 to air ha- out just, these. Yeah, just hash things out. Hash things out publicly to thousands of Just people. Just on That's a fine. furnishing video. That's good. <laughs> yeah, no, no worries. Uh, we'll uh, but, uh, we'll James, have to. I think we need to talk about this. I, I was actually literally going to say we need to yeah. talk about this afterwards and sort this out because this is don't, not okay. Don't say anything more because people will get weird. Anyways, so for this hallway, I thought it would be good to introduce a different wallpaper. So we're introducing some gray. I love gray because I feel like it just goes with everything, but it's not like as stark as black or white. So it's a really good thing to kind of bring colors together and neutralize spaces in real life and, of course, on The Sims. Mm. So I really, really want to get a gray linen duna cover, or you guys would call it a duvet in some countries. Um... I really want one, but they're so expensive. Why is linen so expensive? I don't know if it's just in Australia. I don't know if you're you're asking rhetorically or if I'm supposed to answer that because I have no clue. I don't know the answer to why linen (laughs) is really expensive. And there's a 30% off sale on them right now. And I'm like, I really want to buy one, but I don't think I can. It's still like a $300 cover and that's on sale. Hmm. That's a, it's too much. That's a dilemma and a half I can go down there. to Kmart and buy one or Target, Target, and buy one for like 20 buckaroonies. Oh, yeah. Just do that then. Problem solved. Yeah, but it's not linen. But you could get like so many of those for the same price. I was going to say a number, but I couldn't. <laughs> <Pardon> be. <laughs> didn't bother working it out. You could get like a lot of those instead of getting just one <laughs> cover. I mean, you could just use those. True. So with this living area, I mean, I could have <laughs> I could have easily done it in a more normal open plan kind of way, but I want it to be different and to have I don't know a bit of an idea of well, I wanted each room or living space to be more separated rather than open. I think it would have been cool. Um, I just came up like if you had that room in the middle and then you had like the the glass dance floor, but like it goes all the way up to the roof and you have like a skylight uh, right at the top. That would be cool. Damn, I should have palmed this back to you to, uh, I mean, to you refine it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, no, I mean, yeah, it makes it interesting as well because it kind of separates like the hallway off a little bit. So it's not just like 
just there. yeah it's kind of like it makes it sort of i guess it encloses it a little bit and gives That's you more trying it give, like it sort of um uh divides up the space and defines it more yes oh you're so articulate this is what i was trying to say Sometimes I'm not very good with my words, but exactly that. It defines have, uh, and separates the space. I've been told I'm quite the wordsmith by multiple people, so you I'm know me. Brief. Okay, that was met with silence, and that just made it really <laughs> awkward that I said that now. <laughs> well, in other news, we're both going to be in the US soon at uh, PAX East. Yeah. So... From now well, actually, on, no, actually, videos be, are pre-recorded. It'll be literally when this video goes out, right? Mm -hmm. This is going to be March 11th. <gasps> yes. So we will be Oh, in my Boston. God. We will be in the Boston. Actually, yeah. yeah, yeah. At, in Boston. Yeah, because I'll be in Boston. Because I'm going Oh, my God. That's so Poland, exciting. Going Poland first, and then I'm going to New York, and then I'm going to Boston, and then I'm going home. Mm -hmm. So it'll be, it'll be fun. You do get around, don't you? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, then, like a week after that, then I'm also off to the UK. So I've got a, I've got a busy March. So damn, damn, son. Well, I'm just going. I'm going for my quick taxi trip. It's going to be very nice, and hopefully, I'll get to meet a few of you guys there. I'll see you, James. I'll see Tom, Critic Zeus there, and yeah, it's going to be a hoot and a half. I can't wait, and I'm so excited to eat bagels in the US. That's like my favorite thing in the US. The bagels. Really? That's the favorite thing. Yep, that's uh. it. I mean, oh, I, I, get, I, I was about to say my favorite <laughs> thing was Shake Shack, but that's not just in the US. That's also in the UK and it's in Dubai. It's in Japan. It's in quite a lot of countries, but I am, I am, I think that's probably you what I'm looking forward to most. You are obsessed with Shake Shack. I think that's what I'm looking forward to most is Shake Shack. Just going back there again. If you guys live near a Shake Shack or have access to one, you, and presuming you like burgers, you got to go there and try it out. Ugh, the single Shack burger. Are options? Huh? Are there vegetarian options? I don't know. I only look at the meat. I go single shack burger, fries, and a chocolate shake. And it's just like, oh, ooh. Oof. Sometimes cheesy fries, depending on how I'm feeling. Oh, my God. The cheesy fries are so good. Yes. And especially, you can also, <gasps> cause if you, you can ask for, like, the cheese on the side as well because you don't want it to, like, make the chips all soggy. So you can have crispy chips, then dip it in the cheese, and then it's just like, oh. It's just so thoughtful. Wait, is there one in Boston? Yeah. Yay! Okay, Shake Shack. We'll go to Shake Shack and we will I will rec I will personally send you guys on my Snapchat me eating crispy fries with cheese on the side. Ooh. And then we can all enjoy it together. I think what makes me really happy is that this video will be out while I can ha access Shake Shack cuz right now I have no <laughs> access to Shake Shack, but I'm taking solace in the fact that when this goes live, I will be able to get it. Oh, it's going to be good. Oh my god, you are obsessed. It haunts my dreams. It does. It it really? Do you actually dream about floating hamburgers into no, your mouth? No, I honestly don't think I've ever dreamt about Shake Shack. So it's not it's not that bad. But it's a waking nightmare. I think about it all day, every day. You know, I had a dream once where I could control my dream. It was the best. Yeah, and you know what times. I did? What? I kissed Orlando Bloom back when he was in his prime time. Oh, yeah, I was going to say... Uh, Okay. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. It was like his legless days. No, nah, the, the time that I always like get the, well, like whenever you have a, like a lucid dream, I always, like, you always got to try and fly. That's the best. Oh, yeah. That's always But a good my one. problem is whenever I fly in dreams, it's only doing breaststroke. I've said this before. Like I can't fly in any other way. It's just breaststroke. No, oh, yeah. Well, I've had those dreams, like the lucid dreams where it's just like, I like try to fly and it just doesn't work or it's just not how it should be. And I'm just like, this is really disappointing. <laughs> this is disappointing. Yeah, oh, really I have a lot of dreams where I can fly, like float up to the sky. Like I just kind of float up and then it's like breaststroke and I try and go really fast and someone's chasing me and I'm like, Ugh, I can't go fast enough. <laughs> I wonder what that means. Are there any like dream interpreters watching this? Maybe they can interpret yeah. what that means. Maybe it means that you're rising to the top. You know, like in terms of, oh. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making fun. And there will the be obstacles. You're rising no to the top. How high you get, but you will always be. You know, you'll always be striving to do better, right? So because you get to the top and then you're swimming because you want to get further. You will always struggle. Well, I was trying to be more positive about it. <laughs> I guess. Can... And people will always chase after you. 
No, this is really sad. No, I don't want to think about this. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I do like that baby pink shelf, though, that I just put in. I thought that was nice with the gray. And this little nook, I was really struggling to know what to do here. I was like, yeah, do we put it, it was put a, a meditation weird garden? Do we put a little exercise area? A spa, which definitely didn't fit. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a bit of a weird nook just because just because of where like the stairs were. Like it kind of mm. had to be outside, and not part of that. Ha yeah, that that mm, not the best, but. Mm. But I thought oh, I'd just make it into a little art studio. Mm, nice. But I mean, if you want to download the house, then you can do that. Is it going to be on yours or mine or both? Uh, I don't know. Probably just on yours because you furnished it, so it'll probably be okay. on your gallery. I would assume. Look up user deligacy if you want furnished. If you want unfurnished, you can get it from James. Or you can just or move just, into the house you know and select just, unfurnished. Just download it from me and then make it unfurnished. That will be fine, I think. <laughs> and then... Well, yeah, that's yeah. what I just said as well. It's like there's no point having two of them. Yeah. And then, yeah, we're just doing a little bit of landscaping. And we're about to make a pool. Just Ooh. a small pool, like a quick Ooh. little dippy pool. Ooh, nice dippy little dippity bix. You know, like uh, when you get those half yogurt. Oh, Dunkaroo. <laughs> so good. Um, those, those. Dipsticks? Yo no, those yogos where it's half like little chocolate bits and half yogur. Like chocolate yogurt. Yes. And then, yeah. I remember those days. Haven't had one since those I was days about of the 10 old years school old. yard. Oof. Oh. Yeah. Well, I was never given them, so I'd have to like swap yeah, my food for them. Scrounge them off other friends. Hey, yeah. I like Did what you used eating. to trade you lunch? Huh? Did you enjoy trading lunch? Did you ever do that at school? Yeah, sometimes. We'd be like, I'll like trade the, my there'd be, um, for your A couple chips. of my friends got into the business of dealing soft drinks. Like this is, <laughs> this is in primary school when they were like the canteen went all healthy and they wouldn't have soft drinks. So they got into oh like the, dealing business, the wheeling and dealing business. Very entrepreneurial. Yeah, that's quite impressive. If my kids were doing that, I'd be so proud. I'd give them all the soft drinks to trade. Yeah, it's quite good. But then they got in well, trouble from the school for that because, yeah. yeah. But still, that was good. Yeah, not bad. Oh, okay, so that's where you put the pool. That makes pool sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I was wondering where you put it because I, I didn't know where you put it before this, but that makes a lot of sense. Hmm. Just a little dippity bix, little yogo. <laughs> sure. I mean, that's not what it is, but... Now I just want Yeah, but that. it's the size, mm. the correct size. And they were always had that little angle on the side so you could use your finger to lift off the foil at the top. Anyone who <laughs> doesn't know what this is, it's just like, what are they talking about? Everyone knows. It's global. I'm sure it is. Sure. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much the the build. I think we're going to go into screenshots in just a little while. Mm. Oh, oh my God, my timing. Could not have been better just then. That is amazing. Look at that. Look at that spectacular furnace. Sunset screenshots or sunrise. I'm not sure. One of them. Oh. Uh, yeah. The <laughs> evening. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was a little bit of oh. a nice swift changeover. <laughs> so yeah, here is the lounge room. Divided obviously. up nicely. A little, yep. Divided, secluded. Defined. Differentiated. The little toddler baby room. That's what I, no, I never liked doing differentiation at school. Ugh. I used to love algebra. Oh, yeah. There's the master bedroom. I quite like that master bedroom. I thought that was quite. I nice. like the painting between the like the the lime and the peach. That was cool. Yeah, the lime and the coconut, and then the bathroom. I didn't take pictures of the other bathrooms because personally, I don't really care for the bathrooms you don't that rate much. It. Don't rate it. Nah, <laughs> not. Not overly into it. There's oh. our little golf area. Or well, your your special golf area, James. Ooh, and uh, the entrance. The egg. The egg. Yeah. But yeah, thank you so much, James, for doing the collab, doing the build and coming on the channel. Make sure you guys go to James's channel. Link is in the description down below. And subscribe to him. Because uh, you're you're very close to 600,000. It's very exciting. I might have hit it by now, line. actually, if it's you March 11th. I might have hit 11. it by now, true. I might have, but yeah. Ooh, let's Ooh. hope so. <clears throat> I need to clear my throat. My voice is getting really weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, you guys, Jeez. I hope you're having a lovely morning, <laughs> afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will speak to you soon. And Woo! James will too. Yeah, if I James. will too. Go watch my video. It's pretty good. Um, if 
if you subscribe to James, he will speak to you soon, which I highly recommend. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time and have, have an awesome an day. Have an awesome day. Is the video done yet or is there still more screenshots? No, nah, it's still going. Oh, okay. I can't tell because I'm watching it back differently. <laughs> yeah. oh. I didn't furnish those chairs, by the way. I, James picked those chairs. Oh, what does that, what does that mean? Okay, I think we're at the do end we have now. To have a, do we have to add and that to our walk of things? Have an that awesome to day. Yeah, add it to the list. Bye! See ya! Thank you.